Oh, Maria. Why didn't she run with that money, y'all? Why did she not run with that money? I was like, Maria, he gave you enough money to start your entire life over. You could move to anywhere you want. You had enough money to start all over and do whatever you want. Whatever you want. And you decide to stay and then decided to testify and then you i mean she kept changing her story i didn't see him i did see him the uh the um what she say the scarf over her eyes slipped and she you know remembered who it looked like but it wasn't him and i mean she's telling all these so basically sax was like you know what when it's time for you to testify if you don't get this stuff together and keep it tight, they is not gonna believe nothing you saying up there on that um on that bench. They ain't gonna believe nothing you saying while you up there being questioned. And he was right. He was right. She should have left. She had she would have left. I would have left town without no money. After seeing your boyfriend murdered right next to you, and then the man give you a chance to go somewhere be quiet keep your mouth sealed and then you <laughs> turn snitch then he gives you a second chance gives you some money to start a new life anywhere you want and you still turn around and say you're gonna snitch i don't know did she deserve to die <laughs> maybe she deserved to die <laughs> i don't know y'all but i thought um when uh <clears throat> excuse me sorry when um proctor mm -mm, this was so sad okay now proctor i think deserved to die i feel sorry for his daughter i really really do but hopefully his cousin benny will take her in adopt her you know whatever he needs to do be her foster parent you know whatever you know so that she don't have to go into foster care because now her mother and father is both dead um he was wrong for what he did letting her mother die like that when she was overdosing instead of calling 9 11 like she was begging him to do she was like you ain't gonna he was like you ain't gonna keep me from um from having custody of my daughter and he just let her die just let her die and then her, his daughter had no idea until she overheard him talking on the phone and i mean talking to uh benny and she found out that her father was basically not responsible for her mother's death but in a roundabout way he pushed her to using the drugs remember the form that she had got in the mail saying that she did not pass the bar he made that up he had typed up a letter had it all typed up professionally had it mailed to her and everything told her she did not pass the bar on top of that he told her that he found a new woman that he works with and he's going to propose to her he's like you want to see the ring you want to see the ring she she lost it she lost it and she relapsed and she relapsed all the way till death just it took her out it took her out he stood there and let her die Without calling an ambulance, without calling 911, without trying to do CPR, without anything, without anything, trying to help her pump her stomach from the drugs. You know, I think, matter of fact, I think she put it in her veins. I think that's what she did. But anyway, he didn't help. He didn't help. And his daughter, he thought she was asleep. She heard the whole conversation. Her eyes was wide open like, oh my God. 